I was in the abyss and it was 2023. But not today, it's 2024 because we got the all new Porsche Cayenne. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much to Porsche St. Paul for giving us this beauty exclusive access to you guys. Can you believe that there's a new Cayenne? Uh, I can and I love it. What have we got for horsepower? 348 horsepower and 368 pound-feet of torque out of a 3-liter twin-turbo V6. What is that increased from the last generation? It's 13 more horsepower than the old base model. That's a lot. So with this new setup, you get 17 miles a gallon in the city and you get 23 on the highway, which gives you a combined 19 miles a gallon. Wow, that's actually pretty good. I was going to guess like, you know, 15 and 20, but no, that's really good mileage. Well, we've been driving it for a little while, and I will say more than mileage, it, it does give you some great smiles per mile. Would you like to win our Miata? Well, today I'm going to tell you just how to do that. If we make it to 10,000 subscribers on YouTube by May of 2024, which is our five year YouTube anniversary, it's gonna be given to one of you lucky subscribers. Wait! Uh, so make sure to subscribe. You know, from the front of this, it looks a lot like a 992. It can't, it's a, a Cayenne, not a 911. If you squint, <laughs> it looks exactly like a 911 <laughs> with the angle of the front. I guess. But I bet it can tow a lot more than a 911. So the new 2024 Cayenne can tow 7,700 pounds, which I'm not bragging, but our Cayenne GTS can tow 7,716. What are you doing back there? I'm Tyler testing. How many Tylers can fit in here? Without the little uh, privacy flap that goes over, three for sure. Let's take them on the inside and see how much room's there. Heizung Baskum. What are you doing? I'm learning German. This car is so new, everything's still in German. <laughs> Enough with that. We are in the back seats of the all new 2024 Porsche Cayenne, and this one has a premium package plus an $8,000 option. Well worth it because you get four zone climate control, and your backseat passengers get to play around with buttons. <laughs> yeah, I, they do, and they also get a astonishing amount of headroom and legroom. I can't believe I was insanely comfortable in the front. And right here, I got like, I could play football back here. I think the three liter V6 is it's, pretty quick. It's quick enough. It's not the quickest car I've ever driven, but it has enough punch. Yeah, and it doesn't sound great, but I bet if you got a sport exhaust, it would sound amazing. With any Porsche, some of the feeling and the ethos of what it is depends on which buttons you select <laughs> when you order the car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've never been more right in your life. Uh, some things that I immediately notice. When you turn off the auto, auto start stop button, it stays that way. Okay. Good check. The whole new redesigned dash, I like it. I don't know if I love this cutaway right here. Uh, I'm getting used to it. I like it personally, but I've also not sat in the driver's seat yet. So this one has lane keep assist. Okay. That's good. You can turn it off if you don't like it, but it kind of tugs the wheel back a little bit to inside of your lane. All right. Uh, I love the panorama roof. It's big. I think that the steering feel is impeccable. Impeccable! I like that you have the flappy paddle uh, shifters. Okay. We got lawnmowers, bikers. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing we don't have <laughs> is a dirt bike jumping across the road. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not a Jim Connor video. Um, it doesn't feel heavy vehicle wise. Okay. Uh, the steering is light, but gives you good response going around a corner. The cabin size is good. The one thing I don't like about this specific panel here, all your HVAC controls, when you touch a button, the whole panel moves. So you're probably not gonna be able to see this, but hit auto, the whole thing moves. Yeah, so that's a little bit annoying, but uh, you know, 
I don't know if you left me enough to talk about when I'm driving, so... Well, that just means that you just get to enjoy the ride. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of you driving, how about you jump in this thing? Oh, before I let you drive, look at the redesign of the door handle. I do like it, especially in the black mat that it is. It's nice. Enough of my talking. Let's see what you think of it. Now that you're done driving in grandpa mode, I'm going to, you know, make this car the way it's supposed to be. Drive mode, sport. Chassis, sport plus. Perfect. So you really didn't give me anything to talk about, so it's just going to be fun. <laughs> oh, I like this. It has enough grunt to make it fun. It does. I obviously, more power would be better, but this is acceptable for a nice SUV. It gets up, you're never gonna have a problem with having a lack of power. That is good to know, especially because there are so many iterations of each model. So to know that there is enough power in the base Cayenne, I mean, you're gonna be able to drive faster than a, most SUVs on the road. It's a bit faster. And now I'm at a loss for words again, because guess what? You didn't leave me with anything to talk about. Why would you have done that? You know, it just means we have to go fast, right? <laughs> I love this car. <laughs> <laughs> How can something that's the base model be this much fun? Oh, this is awesome. I thoroughly enjoy this car. It feels honestly as close to a... I am turning into you because I'm saying it's feeling as close to a sports car as the 911 as you can in an SUV. I you... tend to wear off on people. <laughs> <laughs> but the reason I say that is if you look out the front, you can see that it has some design elements such as the little creases on the uh, front fenders that the 718 has and the 911 has. And it has all this just the inside feels similar. Everything feels similar. What do you think of, speaking of similar, compared to previous generation Cayennes? Do you think the size is the same? Like, what do you, what's your personal thought having sat in and driven many of the previous models? So, going back to your generation, which is a 957, right? Yep. Uh, it is obviously bigger than that, but it doesn't feel bigger to drive. It, I'm, like, you look around, I can tell you're farther away than we would. When we sat in the back seats, I knew that you we had way more leg room. It's obviously bigger, but it doesn't feel it on the road. The road presence is that of a mid-size SUV. I agree. I'll agree with that. Um, what do you think about the like the smoothness? We'll call it the Bentley characteristic. I will say that if I wasn't aware that it was this smooth, I probably would be going a lot faster than I am right now. And you like all the screens? I love all the screens. They are high quality, good resolution, and they all have great latency with it. So there's never like, it feels like something's off. They react immediately. So I like them. Well, what do you say we get out of this thing, look at it, the beauty from the outside again, and give them our final thoughts? Sounds great to me. What are you doing down there? Well, I was just admiring, you know, the nice 21 inch rims. So these are exclusive manufacturer wheels. Are they? Yeah, we're looking at about $2,100 for them. Okay. You got staggered wheels. What are they in the front? 285s in the front and two, 315 in the rear. So the rear, rubbers nice and wide. There's some chonky boys in the back. After taking this Cayenne for an extended period of time today, I really, really, really like it. So what we're telling you is to go to the link in our description and check out Porsche St. Paul and probably purchase it because if he's saying he likes it and he only likes GTS models, <laughs> it is definitely good enough for you. That brings up a good fact. The, the, just the base Cayenne is not just a base Cayenne. It is more than enough for the majority of 
people that are going to want to buy one. I would say this accelerates at least as good as your Cayenne. And if it can do as good as an old GTS that still feels fast today, it's fast today. I agree. There's a couple little nuances that are a little bit, might take some getting used to. The, the shift lever, the gear selector, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, it, it is a little bit just it's just new so it's different it's harder to get used it's to. it's no longer in the middle it's right next to the steering wheel and it uh, when i went to park the car i was like where is it and then i remembered it's a button but if you want an all-around awesome family vehicle that's fun to drive fits the family can go on road trips has a lot of luggage space can tow an elephant <laughs> <laughs> this the 2024 porsche cayenne honestly Go to Porsche St. Paul, give on a test drive, feel how awesome the new redesign is because it is something special. It is amazing. And you know, would Dave Ramsey tell you to buy it? Uh, yeah, you got to buy two of them. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you click like, comment, subscribe. Awkward high five, pyramid scheme. We'll talk to you guys soon. It's a great car. i